Okay, now that we have our new project created, we'll talk about the process to add a new well design, and then we'll also talk about some of the other features of the project desktop. So to start our new well design, we'll go to this icon here, the new well design icon. We'll drag it to any place on the project desktop. Once you release the mouse, uh, it pops up this window, and it gives you the options to create a well design, a, a standard land well design, or you can click the drop down. You can create a well design that's totally from scratch. It has no default information in it, or you can kind of pick your different rig type, you know, a platform well, TLP or a spar or a subsea well design. In our case, we'll, we'll start with a default land well design. Um, this way it'll pre-populate some of the casing and hole sizes to a popular standard so that we don't have to define everything from scratch. So we need to give the well design some name. In our case, we'll say, we'll call it base case. Well, click OK. And we've created this well design. The project desktop also gives options to add notes to well design. So this may be a description to say, hey, this is Directional plan, rev one, five inch, drill pipe, or whatever descriptions you want to add there. And you can also change the color to differentiate. Um, the project desktop, it gives you options as well to, to use arrows. Let's say you want to modify this. You get it set up, but then, hey, I want to look at four inch drill pipe. So one way you can do that is copy this whole well design and then paste it, and then this arrow can kind of give an indication of, hey, this is a child of this one. Um, some other features of the project desktop is the trash bin here. If you decide you don't want a well design or an icon, you can drag it to the trash here. Um, to empty, just right click and click empty, or you can open it to see what's in there and empty it from there. Other features, um, instead of right clicking, a lot of features are, are in the side menu here. You can click on a well design and click export, export the project. You can define time data for executed wells, which we can talk about later. Um, copy a well design, paste a well design, delete, edit well design, and bring over to execute. You'll see some menus at the top here as well. Properties menu, this is where you can go. Um, change the data directory where ERA saves the project. You can define a different letter size if you work in one of the countries that uses A4 instead of letter. Um, disable or enable the, the tips that pop up when you first open ERA. Diagnostic logging, that's, that's kind of for troubleshooting. It's good to have that enabled in case you, you have trouble and you need help from us. Down here is where you can define different units. By default, ERA uses API units, but you can go in and make any changes you want from here, or you, you can also do, do this inside the well design. So say, for example, you know you want to use meters, change meters here. Um, once you have a set of units defined, you can go in and add to a library and say this is Russia. And then anytime you're in Russia, you can go and click these new units that you've defined. You can also use secondary units, and this will create a secondary axis on the plots that will show whatever unit you specify. So here we may define length in meters, but we also want to see it in feet. You can do this for any number of units by enabling. Uh, the info menu, it gives some kind of fine print type information, as well as this is where you go to update ERA. You can click check for an update. And if you're using an older version, it will pop up here to give you the option to update. Uh, in our case, ERA is up to date. Licensing, this is, we talked about in the first 
video, but gives you some options for your whatever licensing method you're using. Um, you can return the license to the server in the event that you're one of the companies that has a network license and you have a limited number. If you're taking up the license, you know a, a fellow user can't use your spot, so in those cases you may need to return the license to the server so another user can use your spot. You can also click the option to return the license to the server anytime you close the RA. The bottom right hand corner, it's kind of an overview of the total project desktop. You can see now we're kind of defaulted to the center. The red rectangle defines what's viewable on the larger screen. So you may have other well designs that are kind of off the the view grid. And you can use this to see kind of all the projects and navigate within the project desktop. In the next video, we'll get into the actual setup and modeling for the well design. We'll see you then.